and welcome back to The Business Bar, the only place where we serve you delicious drinks as well as delicious business and life advice. In today's episode, what I wanna talk about is personal branding. So you know I love me some personal branding. I am a personal branding strategist and my specialty is helping entrepreneurs to grow their personal brand online. But I wanna share with you three personal branding tips that I don't think anyone else is really talking about. You know, when we think of personal branding, we talk about content creation, reputation management, positioning yourself as an expert within your industry and so forth. But I wanna share with you three little tips that I implement myself and I implement with my clients that I think if you implement yourself will really help you to supercharge your personal brand online. So stay tuned for that. And I'm pairing today's chat with a delicious Mai Tai. Mai Tais are a beautiful tropical cocktail. They honestly really have nothing to do with personal branding, but one of my clients, Amber, who's an incredible chef, she requested that I do a Mai Tai, so this one's for you, Amber. And if you've got any cocktail requests, please do leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this episode, I would very much appreciate it if you gave it a big thumbs up. And of course, if you're new around here, become a regular by subscribing and leave me in the comments what your favorite part of this episode was. Okay, so Mai Tai. Mai Tais are made with white rum, one of my favorite spirits of all time. So I am using Mount Gay White Rum for this. And we're basically going to use a shot and a half of Mount Gay White Rum. And then we're gonna also use half a shot of Cointreau. So there is a quite a bit of alcohol in this one, so please do not operate heavy machinery afterwards. I love the smell of Cointreau so much. It literally has that like pure ethanol smell. <laughs> Smells like a bar. <laughs> so the first piece of advice that I do have for you is called participation proof. When you are an entrepreneur who's trying to build a personal brand within a particular industry, it's very important that you document your participation within that niche. I see too many people who are categorizing themselves as authors or health coaches or speakers whose social media and online presence just does not represent them being participants or an expert in that particular industry. You need to show people that you are actively a part of what it is that you are trying to create. So say for example, you wanted to be a speaker, you wanted to put yourself out there and you wanted to document your journey to becoming a famous public speaker. At every opportunity, you need to be documenting and getting content that shows your participation as a speaker. Now that might be you documenting you getting interviewed on podcasts. That might be you documenting speaking at events. And I know you're like, well, I don't get asked to speak at events yet. There is plenty of opportunities that you could offer yourself to speak for free. You could offer yourself to speak for free at Toastmasters events. You could offer yourself to speak for free at your friends events or anyone. People are always looking for panelists and speakers. You need to be documenting yourself as a speaker. You could even go to an event with a friend and make sure that you're asking questions. And when you get handed that microphone, get your friend to take photos of you speaking to a crowd. I mean, you still might be asking a question, but at least you're actively part participating in events and speaking and putting yourself out there. If you wanna be classified as a writer, you need to be documenting you actually out there writing. Document yourself at a cafe writing, document yourself at your house writing, talk about your writing struggles, show your work. You know, I see too many people who are just posting the same quotes and the same type of content when really what you should be doing is showing the world that you are living and breathing this personal brand that you are creating. If you want to be a fitness enthusiast, if you want to be a fitness coach and help people with their fitness, you need to be out there documenting your workouts, documenting you helping other people work out, documenting your healthy eating, your gym plan, everything that you're doing. You need to show the world that you are actively participating in your niche in order to be recognized as a person who is someone to watch in that particular industry. Okay, so the next part of a Mai Tai is that we are using some delicious juices. So we're actually going to be using pineapple juice and apple juice in this one, and this is a brand new pineapple juice. So we're going to be using around one and a half parts of either of these juices. So we've got one and a half of the pineapple and one and a half of orange juice. And this is my favorite orange juice. It's called Nudie's Orange Juice. It's really cute, but the carton was too big for me to carry. That's why it's in a glass. <laughs> 
we're also going to be using about 15 mils of lime juice as well just for that zesty old kick. So my next piece of advice is that you need to be a part of the conversation starter. If you are going to be positioning yourself as an expert and growing your personal brand in a particular niche, whenever something happens, whenever there's a trend within that particular industry, you need to be one of the first people speaking about it. Now, as an example, if you were positioning yourself as a social media marketing expert, when IGTV launched recently, you should have been one of the first people creating content about that. Not only does this show your expertise within the industry because it shows that you have a handle on what is going on and that you are actively researching your industry consistently and staying up to date with the trends, but it also allows you to partake in viral content when people are actively searching for solutions for that new problem or solution or opportunity or trend, your content is going to be one of the first things that people see. You cannot be delayed in releasing content and being a part of the conversation when new trends hit your industry. So make sure that you are always staying up to date with what's going on. Now that might be looking at Google Trends, that might be following some of the other industry leaders within your particular industry, it might be staying up to date with the organizations that are in your industry, it might be reading the news. There's lots of ways that you can stay up to date, but you cannot get lazy, you cannot rest on your laurels here. Every single time there's an opportunity for a new conversation in your particular niche, you have to be there to speak about it. So the next thing we are going to be doing is just adding a little dash of grenadine. I wanna give you like a behind the scenes secret of the grenadine. I obviously have been making a lot of cocktails with grenadine lately because I wanna use it up because I feel like all my cocktails have been red lately. So that's why there's been so much grenadine if you've noticed. And if you haven't, then wake up. <laughs> All right, so then we are just putting some ice into a jar. Do not worry, my hands are clean. And then we are going to be shaking this bad boy up. This already smells so fruity, so tropical. I'm so excited for this. Okay, let's see what this deliciousness looks like. Yum. And then the final tip before we garnish this bad boy is the why me strategy. If you are truly going to grow a successful personal brand, you need to be able to answer the question, why me? Why would somebody seek you out to interview you, to offer you a TED talk, to offer you a book deal? Why would somebody want to give you space in their magazine or on their show to hear what you have to say? It's so amazing that we can share information, that we can learn from other people and give out opinion and perspective on this. But if you are going to be a game changer, if you are truly going to be a memorable personal brand, you have to be strategically innovating as well. This is actually gonna be something that I'm gonna go in depth into teaching you exactly how to do this in my upcoming monthly membership program. But just for now, you wanna start thinking about original ideas. How can you take all of the stuff that you've learned and all of the stuff that you've experienced in your life and produce a new formula, produce a new way of thinking, produce a new idea, something that is yours and is original that can be replicated over time. This is truly where the money is. This is where the magic happens. When you can begin to strategically innovate, not only are you setting yourself apart by being yourself and bringing your uniqueness to your niche, you're also becoming something someone who is generating ideas and playing your part in the development of that niche. So what I want you to do is really start thinking about all the things you know and thinking about a way that you can deliver it that is going to change the game, essentially. Strategic innovation is not something that's new. It's something that businesses spend a lot of time and energy, but you as a personal brand can also do that. And that is really going to help you to not only be set apart, but to be sought after. And that's where sustainability happens for your brand. All right, so that was a mouthful and lot to think about. So let's wash that advice down with this delicious 
Mai Tai. I am going to be just garnishing it with some mint and with some lime. Wake this mint up because my heat is on and this lime is look this mint's looking sad. Lime, mint, whatever. And there you have it. There is an absolutely delicious Mai Tai for your nine degrees freezing cold Melbourne day. But I hope the advice that I gave you gave you something to think about. I hope that you are walking away drunk on knowledge and ready to take action on your dreams. If you were interested in joining the waitlist for my upcoming membership site where we'll be going so much more in depth into growing a profitable and memorable personal brand, then please do join the waitlist below. I would absolutely love to have you there. And thank you so much for joining me at the business bar today. I will see you in the next episode. Cheers. You need to be on it like, what's something that goes on something really quickly? Like a fly on shit. Yeah. Is that really the quote? Yeah, it's a uh, same on heat. Then please do join the wait. Why can't I say that? <laughs> <laughs>